everyone, it's Carol here from the stampingground.co.uk. Thank you for joining me again. And today I'm going to use the Delicate Dahlia stamp set from the Celebration catalog. This is um, a stamp set that you can earn free uh, when you spend in the annual or mini uh, catalog. And it's a lovely large stamp, so um, you can create some fabulous uh, designs with it. All the measurements uh, will be over on my blog at thestampingground.co.uk and everything I've used as well. So we shall, um, we shall now get on. I'll quickly show you the stamp set. The stamp set is a two-step stamp, sorry, <laughs> it's a two-step stamp set. As you can see, they've both got matching stamps, uh, which will colour in um, after you've done the outline stamp. Or you can use watercolour pencils uh, for this part or uh, stamping blends. You don't have to use uh, the double stamp. So now I'm just going to make um, a mask. So I'm going to choose the outline stamp of the Dahlia and just some Memento Black Ink. And I'm going to use a sticky notepad and just stamp out um, the image. And then I'm going to cut around this image. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a rough, a rough cut, really. And it's just so that we obviously we can cover it when, um, when we want to stamp again. So I'm just quickly going to whisk through this bit. So there. Just get rid of all these little bits. Now we're going to bring the front of our card in now so that we can stamp. And I'm going to use um, Highland Heather ink and this is the matching part of the outline uh, dahlia. Let's give it a good stamp up. Sorry, give it a good ink. I'll just pop some paper under here and I'm going to do a full flower first um, more or less the top and keep quite close to the right hand side and just stamp a full image and then we are going to put our mask onto the, on top of this and just stick it down an ink up again and then I'm going to go off the actual cardstock on the right and just do part of the flower and then we need to pick our mask up and then we're going to put it onto the second flower and then add your mask to the second flower so ink up your stamp again and then we're going to stamp in a similar place to the last one. So just position your stamp and then just firmly press and then we need to that's where our next one's going to go. So we still need to mask this one off. And now for our last one. And it lines up roughly with the one at the top. Roughly, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect in line. Now we're going to use the leaf stamp now. Now it's not the outline stamp, it is the, the stamp that actually colours the centre uh, of the leaf. I'm going to use soft succulent ink and I'm just going to add my mask back onto the bottom uh, flower. There we are. So now we're going to stamp the leaf and it doesn't matter where you put it because obviously there's, the mask is on so it's not going to... Um, I'm going to stamp on the flower you 
you can either look at the picture uh, and follow what I've done or you can add leaves where where you you would like them so there we are so now we need to put our mask on I'll put it on the top one and then add leaves again and this soft succulent um, is a lovely colour for the leaves And then I'm just going to pop it on here just to add, um, I think it just needs a, a leaf coming out of this one. There. And I think that will, uh, I think there's enough leaves on there. Now I'm just going to take the Fresh Freesia blending pen and I'm just going to just scribble in the centre now I'm going to use the basic border dies uh, the six dies in this packet and they, they come in handy for so so many things um, I'm going to use this small one here and just cut a piece out of Highland Heather so if you take a piece of your Highland Heather uh, cardstock that's a similar size, maybe well a little bit longer uh, than, than the actual card and place it right on the edge and I just pop some washi tape on just to keep it in place and then um, I'm just going to die cut it. And there we are. So I just need to just snip just snip that and I just want to place it uh, right on the edge I think it just uh, it just finishes it off so I'm going to use some liquid glue I'm just going to put a line uh, right along the edge of the card front And then just attach it. Just make sure you're right on the edge. Just going to press it down so that I know. I know it's it's perfect, really. And then just snip any excess off from both edges. So now we need to attach our finished card front um, to the card layer and then the layer to the card to the card base. So I'm going to add glue. I'm just going to whiz through this. So I'm going to take my inscription from Flowers of Friendship and it says little card, big thanks. And I'm going to use the Highland Heather uh, ink as well. So just ink your stamp up and onto a piece of scrap uh, cardstock. Just stamp it. I'm going to use the tailored tag punch um, to cut this out. So just line up 
and then just squeeze. And then I'm going to cut one out in Highland Heather as well. Now I'm going to cut this Highland Heather one in half. And we're going to add it to the back of our white one. So just add some liquid glue on either end of your tag. And then just place on top. And just line up, make sure everything's nice and even. Just ready to pop on our card. We're going to put some dimensionals onto the back of this as well, just to pop it off the card. And then just pop it on your card. And I think what we need now is a few rhinestones and, um, and we'll be finished. So there we are. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you give this a go. Um, masking's quite easy and once you get the hang of it, it's great uh, to use on lots of other uh, cards. So if you have enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and even leave a comment. And I'll be back very soon uh, with another project. And until then, bye bye.